It is almost 16 hours after the West Taraka Hall got bent down and the media was allowed entry to this notorious zone under police escort. Tension remained high over the past weeks with the presence of an organized gang operating from the suburb and the residents are in awkward position whether to report the criminal elements to the police or remain silent in fear of their lives. All services were stopped after West Taraka came under siege by police who were out in full force to hunt down criminal elements. In a media conference held late yesterday afternoon, Acting Metropolitan Commander Chief Inspector Timothy Pomoso says police established that the arson was in retaliation against the death of a top known criminal in recent weeks. Okay, the motive behind the burning of that building is, uh, as we have established, is in retaliation to what we have been hearing about the threats against police. Uh, there have been a couple of deaths as a result of police shooting. Now, one of the suspects that was shot dead by police uh, last month, the 5th of November, uh, along uh, at uh, Nashua from village along the highway uh, towards Naja. Police apprehended three suspects, while the fourth suspect surrendered with the help of his families. The community leaders are being tasked to hand over the other four suspects who were named by the surrendered suspect. Lay Police Superintendent Operations Fred Kaiwa says the police will allow normal flow of services back into the area if the community hand over the suspects. We ask them for full cooperation for, to bring in those suspects. Then we can allow the normal process uh, of uh, normal uh, trading and uh, bus service into West Taraka. So at this point in time, there's no bus service in there. There's a standstill at West Taraka. Charles Kekeng, NBC National News. Lei.